Tell me, what happens when you get these stones? These are these are these are infinity powers. Powers. Every every one represents a power, a massive power, and all of them together, the ultimate power. So does Thanos actually get the six stones? Because in the trailer, I saw a few. That's all been yeah. There's a few in there, and he's always uh, pining to get another one in there. Yeah. So ultimately, we don't know. I haven't done the second movie, so I don't know. I literally don't know what the second script is. I don't know if they've finished the second script, and that's the truth. Huh. I don't know. I think that they're in the midst of, you know, structuring and restructuring. What do you want to see happen? Well, dude, I mean, whatever they come up with, you're talking about, like, nine guys who actually, like, they're, they're true fans of Marvel. Right. on all the comic books and they, they take off to Palm Springs and they have a barbecue over 10 days or nine days and they sit there and they geek out and they come up and they go like what if Thanos did this thing and with this and he threw a planet at somebody and you go yeah let's write that down they write that down and then they have the obviously the monetary means to be able to manifest it so they can do they can make any fantasy come true and those are the guys to do it because they're true fans and that's the thing with Thanos that you don't understand is there's times where it can become psychological and not necessarily brute force interesting more mm -hmm. interesting for adults now yeah maybe not for kids not yeah. that statement but then you, your eyes kind of glimmered. They did. Intelligence, man. Intelligence. Diving right in. Smart movie. It is a smart movie. It's a really smart movie. Okay. He's a smart character. I had no idea, in all, in all truth. I had no idea. When I did the teaser, we had like 36 cameras or something, and I sat on a you know, seat, and I, did, I, did, I did, wasn't working with anybody. And now, like being actually involved and in, you know, interacting and this... I can't, I, I want to mention characters and I can't, but you know, of the characters that are in it, of the potpourri of characters that are in it, it's way more emotional and way more interactive than I thought. So I'm actually, it's a lot of fun and a lot deeper than I thought, a lot more emotional than I thought. The, I mean, are you involved in that too? I mean, do you break the fourth I, wall? Do you talk about Thanos or do you? Do I talk about Thanos in Deadpool? Deadpool. Not yet, not yet. But again, I may, I don't know. No, I don't, okay. I don't. But I don't break, and it's not that I don't break the fourth wall. There's, there's a lot of stuff going on in Deadpool that's very surprising and that will be very uh, satisfying when you see it. Okay. it. To me, it's even funnier than the first one. That's to me. When, when they asked me to do it, I was like, I do that Deadpool and I'm doing the Thanos thing right now and should I do that? And my wife just said, read it. Like, why are you even thinking? Just read it. And I read it and I laughed harder than I've laughed in a very long time. So it's really? funny. It's awesome. funny. So Cable's a funny, Cable's a funny villain. Isn't he? Cable can be very funny. He can be a lot of different things, but he also can be very funny.